Hi, I'm David H. I manage my illness, diabetes with my EKG. The information I share is for informational purposes only and is not intended as health or medical advice. Please consult your physician regarding questions you may have about your health objectives. Okay, you see I'm keeping my glucose levels in check. They're still under 90, so hey, I'm still going in the right direction. And you also see I'm in the uh, kitchen already. <laughs> you, normally I'm not in the kitchen until the end of the video, but today I'm fixing something to eat for breakfast. And that's something I rarely, rarely do uh, because the missus are normally take care of it. But anyway, I'm going to give it a shot. Before I get going, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for my videos. Uh, why you ask? Because anytime someone likes it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell, any interactions you have with my videos, all of that help the YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos to others who watch some of the content. And of course, the more people like it, the more people subscribe to it, the more people that YouTube will offer it to to watch. So that's all good. Okay? You got it? Now on to me fixing um, something um, to eat. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to fix an omelet. That's something I'm not, not good at at all. Normally when I have to fix breakfast, I just boil some eggs. <laughs> I follow directions to do that too. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to try to make an omelet. Uh, yes, I watched um, a YouTube video on how to make an omelet and I'll put it in the link. Um, actually, I watched uh, two. Like I said, this is something I normally don't do. Uh, my wife, she makes the best omelets. But so I don't expect I will come anywhere close to that. But I'm going to give it a try because what? I just want to fix something to eat. <laughs> All right, here I go. Okay, I finished. Man, so much went wrong. <laughs> hey, you probably saw I changed um, pants, and I still didn't have the right pan. Actually, I should have pulled out a smaller pan, a pan that's really conducive or made for omelets. The pan that I used, I could have made a four or five egg omelet. <laughs> and then on top of that, my ham and my mushroom, I wanted to, um, sear them some, you know, even though ham is already cooked. And actually the mushrooms had already been um, sauteed. No, they weren't sauteed. There's something um, that was cut up uh, previously that was just left over. I put them in there. But I wanted to saute those before I put them into my omelet. And then I forgot to put salt and pepper uh, <laughs> into it. So uh, we'll see. But I ended up adding salt and pepper uh, last. But I guess it looks halfway decent. Hey, those blood oranges, I guess, make gives it a little pop, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see how it tastes. Like I said, this is truly, I just truly fix something to eat. As you know, I hate cooking. So this is uh, why I hate cooking, and this is why I don't say I'm cooking. I'm just fixing something to eat. But let me see how it tastes. Actually, actually, it tastes like egg, ham, and mushrooms, <laughs> and some cheese. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know what my wife does. Hers is, uh, are a hundred times better than what I just did. This isn't bad. Uh, it's, this isn't bad by far, and the looks of it is pretty decent. Um, except for what I'm comparing it to is just that much better. So I'm quite sure she probably has a secret sauce or a secret recipe that she. Uh, secret ingredient or something that she does that she haven't uh, told me about. But anyway, but no, this is good. It's truly a fix something to eat. It's great. I'll get full. 
it worked and it's low carb. <laughs> That's the thing with uh, breakfast. Uh, if you're on a low carb lifestyle, this is truly low carb. All right, man, on to the next stop. Okay, I'm headed to Ace to pick up some grass seeds. I'm gonna take advantage of this um, overcast day and put some seeds down. Okay, while I head there, um, there is a post, I did see a post that kind of resonated with me um, this week. And the post, this post says, Dear me, don't fall back into your old patterns just because they're familiar. Love me. Actually, that um, hit home for me. Particularly, I um, hit home on this healthy lifestyle journey. Okay, well, a couple of videos ago, you saw I went to the grandson's birthday party and on our way there, you know, I stopped at Chick-fil-A. While I was at the party there, I ate all kinds of stuff I shouldn't eat. And then a few weeks after that, the grandson came here to us. So, I still wasn't doing the way I normally do. You know, when you get out of your routine, you get out of your, your habits. Um, that's a routine. When you get out of your routine, you have a tendency to slide back slide back to those things that were once familiar to you <laughs> hey that's why that hits so, um hit home you know um, it's so easy to uh, slide back into old habits that was once familiar so i'm getting back to my new habits <laughs> i don't want to slide back to my old habits hey, i had an old habit i used to drink a two liter of a diet i used to drink a two liter diet coke every day <laughs> so I definitely don't want to slide back into that old habit. No, that old habit is long gone. But anyway, I just wanted to share that because uh, I, I know on this healthy lifestyle, sometimes it gets hard. And some, like I say, sometimes you do break with your routine and it's so easy to slide back into old habits. But don't. Hey, like the post said, don't fall back into your old habits just because they're familiar. All right. Okay. Today my get off the couch is really um, this is a quick get off the couch because it's supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain for like next three or four days. What I've been wanting to to do, I've sort of neglected my yard here. Let me see. Um, I sort of neglected my yard, so I'm going to do something uh, they call overseeding. I never done it before. I take that back. I did do it once and it didn't work. <laughs> but since it's supposed to rain for the next three or four days, hopefully the seeds will um, stay wet so they can germinate. I can get some grass out here. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes. But that's the plan. I'm going to put down some seeds. Basically, I have no. Well, I, I, I know nothing about this with the Ace. This is what they recommend it. Uh, Black Beauty Keystone. It's supposed to be formulated for the area here, so I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try to whip my um, yard back into shape. All right, here I go. Like I said, I've done this once before and it didn't work out. So I probably need to get a pro to do it. But anyway, that bag costs roughly about $40. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, I kind of want to whip my yard back in shape. And my wife, uh, ever since I've, I think I told you the story, when the son went off to college, I stopped taking care of the yard. I hired someone to do it. Actually, my wife told me, 
said the yard looked better when you used to take care of it. Yeah, so it did kind of get out of hand. You know, I had someone out here just, the guy that I have, he just cut and blow. <laughs> All right, so hopefully that works. All right. All right, so I, I, I knocked it out. So now the only thing that's left for me to do is just wait. Wait on the rain. And like I said, I'm supposed to rain for the next four or five days. And I probably will, um, a couple of days it doesn't rain. In all seriousness, I probably will get the water hose and I'll water everything. Until it doesn't rain, I'm going to be here chilling. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, I'm out. <laughs>